Okay, um, my name is Isabella Mitchell, and I'm a junior at Omaha Central High School. This poem is titled, That Single Break That Leads to a Flood. A funny feeling erupts through my chest like vines, ropes that climb my ribs and press around my heart, pressing deeper and deeper in a suffocating embrace. A thorn pierces my stomach and I lose my appetite. The tears that form in my eyes drip like the water that trickles through a crack in a dam, holding still until a single break, that single break, that leads to a flood. Suddenly, I don't want to exist. I want to crawl into my exoskeleton, curl inside my cocoon, and sleep away this pressure in my head. I want to shed this painful layer and be at peace with myself once again, because there was a time when I could sit quietly, when I could feel at home within my only body, when I could breathe softly, rest gently, let my lungs flow smoothly against the flow of wind, I would sit and watch the geese fly. I would dream, bathed in gold, vivid rays of sunrise. The air would stroke and pet my cheeks in the clouds. They were infinitely far and infinitely close. The sky would be so vast, but so close that even my fingertips could twirl the blue. And in the midst of a golden portrait, I would smile. I had never felt so free before and yet so constrained by my mortality. But even so, I felt whole as if I were a fragment of a star, stranded upon the surface of an unfamiliar world, staring up at my family, the universe, thinking, life isn't so bad down here. But now I'm hungry, ravenously hungry, although I have no appetite. This pressure in my chest squeezes and bursts, the dam inside me breaks and I drown, so poisoned with decay. And is it all my fault? I watch a bird flutter to a branch that buds with crimson leaves. I can almost taste the sweetness of it all. But why do these tears pour down my face? Is it because I am unfit for this world of beauty, of birds that sing songs of purity? Will I never escape this rope that ties my feet down to my hands? Will I ever escape this blistering pressure that pounds against my head? I crawl inside my cocoon for salvation, try to bury into its marble nights. The purples and blues and blacks surround me. I try to breathe, but my body fights. The air's too thick, I choke, clutch my throat, and struggle and gasp and cry and try to look inside my eyes in search of something to keep me whole. But a stranger stares back at me. And in that shattered mirror of ice, I see a broken tragedy. The tears that cloud my eyelids surround my irises like how the gray evening surrounds the crystal day, rumbling and strong, swelled with water that patters the ground, that taps and taps like fingers against my wrinkled skin. And these vines that don't escape me know they are the ligaments that pull my limbs together, that snap in flailing, bruising pain. Alone in my cocoon, the sunrise is merely a memory. I hear a baby bird sing a song I never knew it could sing that welcoming somber melody of the tears that fall, of the stars we cannot see. I wish my skin was mine again, it calls. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. Thank you.